Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word makes it easy to create a table of contents for formal papers or longer documents. First, mark each title that you want to appear in your table of contents with one of the designated styles in Word, Heading 1, Heading 2, or Heading 3. Word can then automatically collect and display a table of contents based on the text that you marked with each style. Word can also update this information if you make editing changes to the marked content after the table of contents has been created. This can save you hours of revision time when working with long documents. First, you must mark the titles in your document with one of the heading styles listed in the Styles section of the Home tab in the ribbon. Now you can simply select the text that you want to include in your table of contents and then click the Add Text drop-down button in the Table of Contents button group on the References tab. Then you can select which of the heading styles to apply from the list of styles displayed in this button's drop-down menu. Start by going through the document and selecting the major or primary section titles. Apply the heading 1 style to these main titles. They will appear in your table of contents as the main chapter titles. Next, find the subordinate sections with each primary chapter and apply the heading 2 style to these sections. If you have subordinate lessons within these secondary sections, then you can select the titles and apply the heading 3 style to them. Once you have applied your heading styles to the titles in your document, Click into your document to place the insertion marker at the place in the document where you want the table of contents to appear. So let's make sure that all of our headings have been added. And then next we will click into the document where we want the table of contents to appear. Let's move this down a section. So if this is where we want the table of contents to appear, we would click into it so the insertion marker is blinking. Next we would click the Table of Contents button in the Table of Contents button group on the References tab. You can then select one of the automatic Table of Contents styles listed or create a custom Table of Contents. To create a custom table of contents, select the custom table of contents command. This will be called the insert table of contents in Word 2010 or 2007. This will open up the table of contents dialog box and display the table of contents tab. Here you can customize the style and appearance of the table of contents. At the top of this tab, you can see how your table of contents will print in the print preview section. Below that, you have options for changing the appearance of the printed version of your table of contents. If you don't want to print the page numbers, then click the Show Page Numbers checkbox in order to clear the check from the box. Also, page numbers, if selected, will default to being right aligned. You can clear the check from the Right Align Page Numbers checkbox in order to print the page number immediately after the chapter title. You can then select the desired Style of Leader tab to connect the chapter titles to the page number in the Tab Leader drop-down. You can also see how your table of contents would appear if published as a web page in the Web Preview section. If you do not want the titles to appear as hyperlinks in the web page, then you can clear the check from the Use Hyperlinks Instead of Page Numbers checkbox. In the General section, you can alter the general settings of the Table of Contents. 
you can select a different general format for your table of contents by selecting a different choice from the Formats drop-down. If you need to display more than three levels within your contents, you can use the Show Levels spinner box to enter the number of subordinate levels to display within your table of contents. Note, however, that in addition to changing the levels to display in the table of contents here, you will also need to format those titles within your document using the additional subordinate heading styles, such as heading 4, 5, and so on, before they will actually appear in the table of contents. Once you have set all of the options for your table of contents, simply click the OK button to insert your table. Note that the table of contents is simply a field. Like all fields, you can toggle the display of the field code between the actual table's contents and the field's contents by clicking into the table of contents and then pressing the Shift plus F9 in your keyboard to toggle the view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.